support me. So that's what keeps me going. That's why I'm keeping you guys updated. That's why I'm letting you guys see every step of it and all the struggles and the roadblocks on it. So you guys are Mariam's Joyful Life world, okay? We all are Mariam's Joyful Life world and we're together in this. And when we finally move and get that house, you guys are going to see it. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to see it and we're all going to rejoice because we know that this is what we did together as a community. Because you guys have been there for me. We've been there for one another. We've prayed for one another. You know what I mean? We've done things even for others. We've done things. Over the years, I've done a lot of things for people. A lot of things that churches, because I've called churches for help, but nobody, oh, no, we can't help you. The only amount we can have, the, the government allows us to give is like um, at least $200, and that's it. We can't help you with rent. We can't help you for, with nothing. All the things, we just can't counsel you, but we can't, we can't do this. We can't do that. That's what they say. But that's why I've made up my mind that when I get out of this, I am going to, the way that I'm going to set myself up with all the businesses and stuff that I'm already putting together and all the people, all the different people I've been talking to, I'm going to make sure that whatever I create to support people is something that would not only provide shelter, but it's going to provide long-term change for people. It's not going to be give somebody $200 and that's it. When, all, when, they, when what they need is more than that. You see what I'm saying? And it, in this, so as, you know what, at this point, I want to thank God for one day. This particular pastor whose work I really, really respect. And I'm very proud of what she's doing. She's also, people have been, she's been blasted too by people. Just like me. But, you know, her own case, she's surrounded by really, she has really good people around her. She has really good people. Kelly Lane, Warrior, Warrior Life Ministry. Is it Warrior, Warrior? Yeah, Warrior Ministry. She started it online with her Facebook, okay? She and her husband, Sino, but before uh, Kelly and Sino got together, she had a husband who also was giving all kinds of hell because of, all because of money. Because Kelly is a giver. Kelly was raised the money and help people. She's a, she's a giver, just like me. You know what I mean? She's a giver, okay? She just gives and gives because she trusts God. Because when you give, it comes back. When you give, it comes back. It doesn't mean you're not going to go through struggle. It just means that when you focus on God, God is going to keep blessing you. And that's why God is blessing me. A pastors around me who are jealous why are you jealous like if you trust in this god that you call upon because I, I trust in god and i believe in him and then there's other things i've learned about god that i want to share with you guys it's not the god that most pastors and most people talk about okay there are certain, certain things we all need to know about god that when we do we will be delivered for, from so much grief and lies and negativity anyway kelly kelly i respect her so much because Kelly is actually making a change in the lives of people. She's helping people pay their rent. She's, right now in this time, in this situation, she's helping people pay bills and groceries. And she's, she has a lot of support. And God is just blessing her in every way. And I love what she does. Like, she's my mentor, but she doesn't know it. Right now, I can't really pay her to be my mentor personally. But when I get to the point where I, when I can, I'm going to be a part of her program. Because Kelly Lane is just... Kelly Aguese. Kelly Lane Aguese. Oh, my gosh. She is just amazing. She's amazing. I love her messages. I love how God is using them all over the world. So, anyways. In the meantime, the Bible says you'll go through many struggles, but take heart. I've overcome the world. So have you. So, I am a strong woman. Okay? Regardless of what people say and what people do, they can say whatever they want to say. It's fine. I'm used to it. My biggest pain right now is... is is being here. I want to go, but I have my kids. I don't want to lie and say that Hona has been physically abusive on the kids. Because I could lie about that and have my way. And take my kids with me. I could. Because somebody somebody older than me advised me to lie. Uh, so that I can, I can get my kids and take them away. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie and say Hona has been physically abusive on the kids so that I can get my way and take the kids. I'm not going to do that. He has not been physically abusive on the kids. He has not hit the kids. He has not. And he has not hit me yet. So, and I've made that clear that he has not hit me yet. And when he has gotten angry and talked at me in my face, coming up in my face and screaming, I've held my phone up and said, if you, if you come any closer and you keep this, keep this on, I'm going to call 911. That's what I told him. So he backed off. But I'm not going to lie and say he's been. Just because I want to have my way. 
and just so the law because the law will support me you know what i mean they would because a lot of women would lie just to get their way but through this situation lying is not something i'm gonna do because god god is the one who's been protecting me and guiding me if i decide to put tricks and lie about stuff he's not going to support me anymore god is going to back off and if god turns away from me i don't have anybody the reason why i have support and strength around me is because is because um it's because i have god you know when i put my when you put your trust in god it takes god to be able to get support it takes god to be able to be to be able to be to stay strong it takes god if your trust is in the number of people around you you've already failed because as soon as they back away from you you have nothing but my strength and my hope comes from the lord so that's why regardless of what is going on i'm not i'm not shaking although it's it's really painful to be here it's really painful but my kids and I can't even, I've tried to take my kids to daycare. daycare. Daycare is not accepting kids. They are not accepting. They said no because of the COVID. They said no. The only kids that they have at the daycares are the kids that have been there before COVID. So Hana has been, because of the COVID, he hasn't been working um, for the past one month. So that has given me the freedom, you know what I mean, to be working. So I've been going to work regularly because of that. The kids have been staying with him while I go out to work. So I'm, I'm grateful that somebody's watching the kids because I didn't have anybody. Um, Adam and his girlfriend said no, they're not going to watch them. So Hannah has been home watching the kids while I go, go and do my job, you know, work. So, anyways, you guys, let me tell you all something. God is God is not who you've heard. Like a lot of people, all the things that they've told you about God, lies, 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 lies. And I know with first hand because I've, y'all, if there's anybody who's been very, very into church, I'm very into church, okay? Very into God. And I've trusted God and believed. And I've seen how God has taken me through all kinds of stuff. That when I come around the so-called spiritual people and they hear about my story, they hear how God has taken me and brought me out of stuff. And they look and it's like, in spite of all the things that people try to do to stop me, how did some, how did you get through? And now the very same people are lying about me just because I'm not going to give them any money anymore. I'm not giving them any money anymore. I know where to put my money. I know the church. Like, I support Kelly Lane. I support that ministry. I support um, Pastor, um, Pastor Stephen of uh, Elevation Life. I like his church. I support those financially. Some Nigerian churches, you run away. Run away from those African churches. Not all of them. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. It's ridiculous. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go. I want to go. What I want to do, because I haven't put on makeup in a long time. I haven't dressed up or nothing in a, long, in a while. I have not, because I've been going through, like, all kinds of stuff. Like, it's crazy. And again, I've been so tired after working. Because my work, you know, like, you know, moving around and very active and moving stuff. And it, it helps me put my take my mind off of everything, off of the rejections, the denials, and all the things that are just crazy things happening to me but today i'm going to go dress up um because i've got some t-shirts i've got some t-shirts to sell so that i can you know i can support myself and my kids because obviously I'm, i have to i love i love i love 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 taking care of my kids so i'm gonna get these t-shirts this woman this lady made some t-shirts for me and they're very nice t-shirts and you guys are going to get that from me directly not from teespring because my my youtube channel is still hijacked both channels my non-profit my blog my adsense so money that i was grossing on youtube when i started back up i can't have access to it anymore until um google gives me back my account which is crazy because You know, God knows. God knows why that happened. But anyways, I thank you guys so much because I know those who truly care about me. You follow me wherever I am. You will come. And I know it. And that's why I'm open. I'm not... There's not... For, my life is an open book. My life is an open book. And all the things I've even... Dealings I've had with the government too. They've seen everything about me. Like, oh my gosh. You know what I mean? Like, my life is an open book. And... I know some of you guys like ask for government support and stuff and stuff and stuff. Y'all, it's not easy to get this support that a lot of people have from the government. But for me, I've always prayed and asked God, okay? Whatever I've always needed is I pray. I get on my knees and I ask God and God, oh, and when I open my mouth and say, okay, hey guys, I need this. People jump on it and send it. That is God. I have God on my side. 
You know what I mean? Now I just need a solid foundation in a place to go. But anyways, you guys, my head, you guys already know what's going on. Like, my head is just, it's just a lot going on. But God is good. God is faithful. He's still my solid rock and my foundation. In spite of the fact that I trust in God doesn't mean that you're not going to go through storms. You're not going to feel pain. You're not going to feel, uh, I want to just, you know, you're going to feel all of that. But in the midst of it, I give God praise because God is still answering my prayers. I'm still going through this stuff, but I know that he's already given me the answer. I just need to keep going. Sometimes the answer needs to be work out, worked out as you keep moving. So, <sighs> all right. I'm going to go put on some makeup now. Maybe back later just to show you guys my face with makeup on so that you guys will see me not crying and just sad all the time. No. God is my strength. And I've got to keep going and keep moving. And <sighs> Anyways. I will talk to you guys later. Just keep up with me, okay? Keep up with me. I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be... Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, sweetie pie. I'm going to be... Uh, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Oh my gosh, I want to say something so badly to you guys now. It's just like... Anytime you're with anybody and you're starting something with anybody and you don't, you, your heart suddenly tells you, don't, don't do it. And you feel some type of resistance in you. Don't ever do it. Don't go close. Don't, 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 don't compromise, you guys. Don't ever compromise for anything. Don't ever compromise to be with somebody. Don't compromise your happiness and your peace. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Because me, people have dealt with me. I've had a good heart towards people, but they've dealt with me. But God is always my strength. That's why God always vindicates me. That's what God always vindicates me. Anyways, you guys, I got to stay positive. I got to put my head up. I got t-shirts to sell so I can just keep like increasing how much I have so I can, you know, get to that point where, you know what I mean? I just have businesses and stuff going on with support so I can have money. Nobody would tell me I don't have nothing so I can have it to, to pay the bills I have to pay and get myself stabilized you know what i mean do the things i have to do so that's why i've got these shirts hopefully you know some of you guys will get the shirts and we'll keep going from there so thank you guys very much i gotta go lord help me thank you all for your support may the lord bless you keep you provide for you and just elevate you in all that you do okay i love you guys very much and something i can't even get to most of the messages because when i get off here i'm thinking about things to do i'm